back to thecodesearcher.com. I am Jonathan, and it is May 31st, 2018, 1.25 a.m. Hawaii time. Folks, and what you're looking at is the updated map uh, for the actual float. And what I'm going to show you is some actual raw footage we got today. We just got in a few hours ago. Been processing everything we can. I'm tired of uploading. So what I'm going to do is show you just the raw footage um, and get back out there, actually. So here's the perspective we're going to be looking at. Uh, we actually had to come in the back way, guys, to uh, my brother Jason's Hui, uh, which is up in this area here, directly threatened. Um, now, lava is flowing uh, into this area. Slowly, on a bed of uh, uh, hotter stuff is up top, as you'll see in the footage. Uh, the lateral movement, uh, as indicating here in the orange, uh, this way, is very slight. The forward movement, or the downhill um, in this direction, is the greatest movement. Right, so it has crossed onto their property. This is my brother's Huey here. Um, if it follows this right here it would go right right through the middle of their property um it looks like it may be going down this way guys as you'll see on the footage um a ton of very hot lava incidentally there are dozens and dozens of people still down here there are hundreds and hundreds of animals still down here um, you may hear in some of the footage animals screaming in the background they're pinned up um, trapped because there's lava coming and they know it uh, it was a hard thing to endure hearing animals screaming because they they're gonna die uh, so we had to intervene there's a point where we cut from filming and uh, documenting this we had to intervene to um, save some animals some cows from uh, from from dying so here's the area we were in actually you'll see in the footage that when we first arrive on the scene um from the back noni farms road um down uh, approximately to this position right here and of course we didn't know about this finger when we first got there and when you're doing something like this you have to be very vigilant had we not been vigilant we'd have been trapped um at some point very quickly uh, so the perspective you're going to see is from down here uh, in this area looking back the fissure you will see in the footage is actually guys believe it or not fissure eight fissure seven and eight incredible that you can see it <clears throat> from way down there in Kapoho. Um you can see the uh, the glow of um, I think it's 19 or 20 and 15 those but it's blocked somewhat by the high ground here this is all high ground this is why the lava has gone around it's because it's high ground um, some is flowing down this way as you can see on the map you'll see on the on the footage as well but the rest on this side is generally following uh, Kapoho Road uh, one finger's gone down this way and it's made a, it's gone down a pretty good weight. Um, this map is not doing you any justice right now. The, I hope the the updated one tomorrow is more accurate because uh, this doesn't seem accurate from what I see. Um, there are some geo geologic um, and geographic things that may you know work into favor for my brother Jason here and again guys I'm tired right now so forgive me for um, you know trying to find my words there are huge crevasses you can't see them in the tree lines here but there are huge crevasses from older flows like this one right here is a very old flow you see the craters there but there are crevasses all through here in this tree line they're deep very deep and, and the th thought is that if it comes down this way, it, it would get swallowed up in these crevasses. Maybe. Um, 
we'll know this in the morning. We're, we're going to go back in a couple hours and see what happens. We are hoping it does not come down the blue line and, um, and cut off through here. Um, so let me take you to the uh, GoPro, show you some of the footage of uh, the trek in there and how rugged it was. I'm not going to show you everything, guys. Um, we just not a t enough time to edit and not enough time to go through it. Um, as you can see here, just overgrown on both sides. Cane grass, six to seven feet tall. Um, if you're on foot on a bicycle, there's no way of knowing where the lava is. And there were people on foot and on bicycle. Dozens of people are still back there. Um, families, farms, a lot of animals. Um, so this is our making our way back there. Um, this is actually getting to Jason's land. And here it is. And this is when we walk up on it, where it is. It's actually on his property, as you saw um, uh, on the map there, what I was pointing. This is this is the fingers on the two roads. This is a road on either side of this grass right here. One on this side and one on the other side. And it is very hot. You can see um, the forward movement is more more than the lateral movement. It's more like a spreading like this, kind of kind of like like this. As you'll see in the footage, it's it's, it's pooling in uh, in some areas, and as it breaks down the the land, it goes in rivers and then kind of spreads out in some places flatter land all right hang with me guys i apologize let's see this uh this is um this is actually going to his driveway which is cut off completely cut off and um this is what we walked up on you really can't get a perspective it's probably 10 12, 15 feet to the top um, of this. Twenty feet. I, I don't know where. It's very tall. It's just a wall. As you can see, is this lateral movement this way is very slight, inches. Um, not moving very fast at all. Very typical of what we were seeing in Leilani it initially. Um, the slower moving lava, which is building a bed for the rivers to run on. That's what we're seeing, that, that those rivers are actually riding on a bed of ah. Uh -uh. The river would be up there um, on top of this. Something's going on with the gimbal, guys. I, I don't know if if it's a, a radio interference, something magnetic going on with this lava, but I saw it a couple of times in the videos where it kind of jerks. Um, it's really weird. All right, let's see. Here it is again, it's uh, on the other road. There's two roads that run parallel with each other. One's a driveway for the neighbor, and, and this is, uh, yeah. This is uh, my brother Jason here in the blue. Uh, really hard time for him, emotional time. Uh, worked many years for his farm and his, uh, his hui.
Here's Jason. Let's see what Jason has to say. We're watching uh, the lava on his property. How are you feeling, brother? See, it's a it's a huge wall, but it's kind of breaking down the hill there. Um, this is the one of the fingers. We were on the other side of that hill, right? So there's a hill that runs between those two fingers. Yeah. So had we not been vigilant and known that this finger was there, would have been cut off. And this is what happened. Someone in Leilani uh, got trapped had to be rescued because um, you don't know where this lava is if you're not situation awareness is key always being vigilant um, especially in a in a place where low visibility and let's see what this is I think this is As you can see, low visibility it was dark then. And uh, let's look at this one. I did not mean to do that. I'm so tired. All right. See the see the radio interference on that. I don't understand it. So this is the same road, just a just a little while later, right after, right after it got dark. Immense amount of heat, guys. This is a leading edge. This is a leading edge of that that those fingers. Um, so it has not. Uh, gotten all the way through their property yet hopefully it still hasn't by the time we get back down there and um, it was immense amount of heat immense amount of heat guys uh, okay I see these cows. Some of the cows are trapped. Cows are trapped. And they're crying um, because the lava is about to overtake them. Yeah. Hey. And it was kind of emotional, guys. Um. To, to see that uh, <clears throat> all right so now let me take you to uh, what we saw from above again this is uh, footage from aerial one excuse me rogue one aerials of coma it's also part of our crew So this is before it got, got dark. These are leading edges um, of this eye, eye. As you see, it's probably like, like, as I said, about 20 feet. Some some places smaller, um, but they're very high places. Uh, this bed is being pushed by that river. <clears throat> as you can see there, it's you'll be able to see it at night better. 
Uh, but it is a hot river coming from, guys, that's Fisher 8, believe it or not. Way over in Leilani, you can see it. This is PGV in this area, and on the other side is a Fisher. That's a Fisher line that runs all the way down this way, all the way down. And, yeah. So here's a driveway. We were down this way, and right there, actually, um, I'll take that back. The first footage before we got past, uh, we were actually down here between the fingers and actually had to retreat past and get back up in this area here. As you see another fissure there, I think that is uh, probably uh, 21, 20, 18, something like that around there. Yeah, but there you go. The lava coming down and going around PGV and making its way down and splitting a couple of times. So you see it split there, it's split here. And it's also running on the other side of that ridge, on the other side, um, going down Kapaho Road. This is what we saw. All the fumes, everything was going in the other direction. Um, meters didn't go off at all. Immense. Look at that fissure over there. Some things are blocked. You couldn't really see over there, but there you go. That's fissure 17. So this is the vantage, this is the vantage point from where I showed you on the map. Um, my brother's Huey. Huey. I said Huey. <laughs> Huey. And I think the same thing is happening. We saw um, a few days ago in Leilani where, where it was just a massive lake. You see it's not moving uh, too much. It's just kind of sitting and riding that uh, uh, all the way down. Um, and then we saw uh, once the channels had a bed to, to sit on, then the lava moved, started moving swiftly as we, we saw in the footage. As you see, the brother gotten to the edge, the leading edge of that. A <clears throat> um, couple of fissures there. This is the, the big one, 7 8 area uh, flowing around PGV and down. All downhill. There's the, this is the ridge that runs in between where it's. Uh, Lava on the other side, obviously. And then the ocean down that way. Incredible. As you can see, the pooling of lava just waiting to spill out. Huge pool up in there.
incredible. I just don't have words for you guys. It's immense. <clears throat> Let's look at another one. Mahalo's and shout outs to all of those uh, crisis workers, volunteers, police officers. Let's look at that one there. All right, just this is right after it got darker. Picture will clear clear up uh, when the camera focuses. There it goes. You can see the uh, the ridge line there. Fisher on the other side. This is again that's seven eight up that way. There's another one down there. Um. And that's the lead edge. It's not moving um, real fast, uh, maybe a couple hundred yards an hour. Not as fast as the stuff we saw in, in Leilani the other day, at least. Which is coming, by the way. That's what's coming down there. Pike. I'll upload the full ones, uh, guys. Uh, I'll upload a full version of this. It looks very pixelated, doesn't it? No editing. See, it's all raw. See huge pools in that river. Huge one right there, and then it, it breaks off this way and comes around. But but look at that hill. I mean that that's all the way back up in Leilani up in there, guys. PGV. You can see the other fissures down that way. And I may have that backwards. There may be twenty four. I don't know what twenty four is doing right now. Someone may have to correct me, um, but the last thing that I saw was uh, eight, seven, and eight was was the one going off. You see one over there going off. Look at that clear above that ridge, guys. You can see that going off over there. I think that's eight. That could be twenty-four. Someone help me out here. Uh, regardless. It's it's tons of lava. I mean, you can see that hill just. So it looks like it's getting hemmed up, and uh, this is all uh, uh being pushed, 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 pushed. Look at that! Wow, you can. That I don't even know what to say. That is incredible. Cause this is a ridge line, guys. You're seeing that is. Shooting over that ridge. That's a ridge that runs through there. High ground. And that's on the other side. This is the first time I'm seeing this, guys. Uh, right along with you. Uh, we didn't get to go through it or edit it. 
Mm. All of that is lava. With the rivers riding on top of that. Uh uh. I know you can't really get a get a idea of where it's gonna make entry into the ocean. Um we're gonna resurvey this area in just a few hours. But um I think we can look at a map and kind of get the idea of based on the forward motion and a slight lateral um, motion of an idea of where it's going to go in. This will cut off Beach Road and there will not be any other way out for you guys on the other side of that. Um, you'll be cut off. So I hope this message reached you. Um, you can see there's people on the ground there. With lights, flashlights. As I said, there are dozens of people still down there. And if this message reaches you, you now know where it is. You would now know at least how large it is. Look at the map and look at the lava. And make your judgments. Clear view, very clear view of um, of those. Paths that that it's chosen. It's forked a couple of times. Looks like it swings around. Um, it does come across uh, it, around this. You can't tell it in this footage right here, but it does go around another ridge there and come back around and it goes this way. So. You know, if you're in some area like that and you get caught, cut off, it's 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 bad news. Um, it's very easy to get cut off in a situation like this with lava running downhill. Guys, listen to me. If you're in the downward slopes of this, you need to take this into consideration. There's a massive amount of lava coming that way. This is the leading edge of the other fork. So, um, he is in between the two fingers on this side. And you can see lights in the background there. These are uh, magic houses. <clears throat> People still have electricity living off grid. Wow. You would please share this video let me see if i got anything else to share with you before i wrap it up and um process whatever else i have i think that's it let's go back to the map all right so um here's what you saw we we're down in this area on the ground this is where you saw the lava cross over the roads right there um, we were also down here before this crossed over, and then in the night shot, um, we were back up on on the property because this is where the blue line is. We wanted to see if um, if we we're in danger now. If all of this comes around this this little ridge here and works its way down, um, then it could be a bad thing. We're praying against that. While we were there, we're praying against it that. Uh, the Almighty would spare this community. It does look like the major flow down this way is um, in this motion. Looks like this line, which will be coming up on four corners and um, going into this community here. If you're in this community, please consider your options and get out of there. Take your important stuff and go. And um, make your peace. It is coming. <clears throat> In the terrain there, like I said, folks, there are crevices and things you can't see because of the trees. 
and we did see some stalling over on this area because something was swallowed up. Maybe this will happen over here. All right. Shalom. Thank you for watching the video. Please share it. There are people whose lives are at stake. Animals that are down there suffering. Um, it's a bad situation. We'll see you in the next video. Shalom.